Good day, my name is Craig Bryden. I'm a business intelligence consultant working at Wardy IT Solutions. Today I'd like to demonstrate two nifty features of Microsoft Excel's Power Query. The features that I'm going to be demonstrating today are the online search and the ability to manually edit your Power Query queries, which not many people are actually aware can be done. So first of all, let me kick off with the online search. What this feature does is it goes out, searches the internet using your search terms, and actually brings back some data sets that it could find that, seem, that it believes matches your search criteria. So in order to start, you go into your Power Query ribbon and you click the online search feature. You get an online search box which comes up and I'm going to search the internet for the highest grossing films. As you can see from the progress feedback, it went out, hit the internet, and now it's brought back a whole bunch of results for me from Wikipedia. So if, as you hover over these results, you can actually get a feeling, it gives you a preview of what that data contains, which is actually very useful. In this instance, I'm going to go with the highest grossing films adjusted for inflation. As you can see, this list shows me the top 10 films of all time, um, ranked by the gross um, adjusted for inflation. The pop-up window that we can see shows us the data as well as gives us some additional information when this data source was last modified, where it's from and the actual URL where we're getting it from. You can choose to immediately add this data just straight into your worksheet or you can choose to first filter and shape. I'm going to choose the filter and shape option. And there it's brought the data into the query editing window within Power Query. Yeah, as you may have previously seen, you can change the name of the query. So I'm just going to call it highest grossing films. So let's look at the data that we have. We have a, a rank column, a key column, um, key column which is probably not needed and is a duplicate of the rank column. So I'll go ahead and remove that from our data set. Also don't like field, type, uh, field headings which contain strange characters and brackets and so on. So I'm going to go and rename this column to just be worldwide gross. And I'm also going to change it from a text column, which it currently is, into a number so that I can use this in formulas. So the next feature which I'm going to be demonstrating for you is the ability to edit, manually edit your query. So this is um, a, f a capability that is predominantly aimed at software developers and hardcore Excel users. So what you do is you move your mouse, hover your, uh, you put your mouse over this little script icon up in the top right hand corner. And when you click that, you get the query, uh, an edit query dialog that pops up. If we have a look at what we can see here now, this is the code that the user interface has generated for me by all the actions I've taken so far. The first line is to go and retrieve the data from, um, from Wikipedia. The next one is to remove the key column, then rename the column as I did, and then to change its type. So what I'm going to put in here is just two lines of code which I've pre-prepared. And what these lines do, this line over here is getting a sum of all 10 rows. So this is summing the worldwide gross column for me. So I'm getting a total for the data that you can see in the background. The next thing I'm doing, I'm adding a new custom column into the data set. And what I'm doing is dividing the worldwide gross of each line by the total, which I derived in the previous line. So this is giving us a percentage of total for each line, a fairly common business scenario. And with just two extra lines of code, you can see that I have a percentage of total. Now, the reason I had to do that with code is that Within a single query, to get the actual 
total of all lines is not possible currently using the GUI tools available. So that's showing you how you can write your own um, data qu uh, query, uh, power query formula language code. I'll click done and now the data is returned into my Excel table for me. I hope you found this short demonstration useful. Thank you for watching.